it's a bit of a risk flogging on a Monday night in Halifax uh, but I might have to get a lift no current departures there is normally one at 11 12 so that's when I'm gonna wait I'm gonna wait till then if that bus does come then it does come but if not then I've said can I get picked up uh, I'll go back to McDonald's and get something there it's very light it's very colorful around here so yeah long not bit of bit now that I know how to do the closing up shift now it's a bit more uh, I feel a bit more confident doing it so tomorrow I have a 10-5 shift and with missing like half an hour by accident yesterday I told staff and they weren't they was okay with it it was okay with it which is good I was like yes thank goodness so the last bus on a Monday to Friday 503 is 22.17 or 10.17 and it's now about an hour later after that so no wonder there's no buses so yeah my dad's just gonna pick me up from McDonald's he's gonna set off in a few minutes might actually get something from McDonald's hmm sounds like a good idea so it's Tuesday morning and I'm going to work it's nine o'clock I've had a I've had a chill day, chill morning. After yesterday, I was like, I'm just gonna have a chill morning before I go. And that's what I've done. I think I need to be careful this morning. There's quite a lot of stupid people out. Not really knowing where they're driving, not or where they're going. Just being stupid. Something a little odd, but good. Just got some chocolate and a drink for two quid and it gave me a fiver and three ones so that's eight and it gave me a two pound coin like ten pounds so I've literally just paid for nothing I've literally just got them two items for free ace yes. not complaining I was like fair enough <laughs> it amazes me to this day like just like getting the journey to Halifax how people struggle to get on a bus like and how to get on all you've got to do is when the bus comes put your hand out say I want to get on this bus basically get on it and that's it does that require supreme levels of difficulty no it doesn't it, it really doesn't pardon me Anyway, it's half nine, just got off hit slightly to somewhere different, like next to the bowling. Uh, I'm just gonna walk past the bowling place. Electric bowl, I should just say. And then go to work. I wanna get like half a mile in before I go to work. So, I'm out walking my dogs, and it feels really weird. Why? Because I've got a day off today and tomorrow. <sighs> yeah, that's uh, that's something, eh, isn't it? Like I've worked six days in a row, which and I've and I and by the way, I've loved every each day, and I kind of now have an idea of what to do for Saturday morning and Sunday morning. For when I do do it because I've never done a 7-2 shift before I've done 5-11, I've done 10-5 uh, so yeah I've done them but I've not done a 7-2 and I've not yet done oh no, I've done a 2-10 I've done 2-10, 5-10 10-5 I've, 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 not, I've no idea, I'm tired, really tired. So, uh, the only ones I haven't done is a f two half nine and a seven two. 
but I'm flexible so yeah anyway you can't see me now I'm totally gone I think I'm not tired I can't even stand up properly so I think when I do get home I'll have a rest for a few hours and then go back out this thing with having a full time job right I can't get half as good much walking as I used to in like the person who I compete with normally is at like 83k and I'm not even at 50 yet so like I'm not able to uh, this this month this this is this month could potentially be the month that I don't do 200k really to be honest I might not even do it I've done 10k already I've done the love gym which is to do an hour's worth of exercise which is piss easy uh, I might be able to do the elevation challenge I should imagine there's another 5k challenge coming up soon which I can complete but the 200k one's a bit out of reach I mean it is only the 7th of February and the last day of February is the 28th so I've still got a while to complete the target but I'm just going to have to proper, proper walk loads when I'm not at work. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm walking a lot at work, but it doesn't count to Strava. Because you're not allowed to phone on the shop floor, and plus your phone doesn't work inside anyway. <sighs> yeah. So if I do 200k this month, then I'm going to be surprised. There's a bit of snow on the landscape there. Nice. It's funny how it's forecast. It's uh, the temperature is like literally above zero a little bit. It's warm, actually. It's actually quite. It's actually not too bad. Do you know? I honestly thought the dogs would chase after the birds here. Like <coughs> a couple of days ago, a, a dog from like literally down there like right down there just ran all the way through and all birds were like in the air spiralling and everything and this dog was just going nuts boy that was a good clip it was funny to watch I was like where's the dog owner I was like let's just film this dog before this dog owner comes and I managed to get like 30 seconds of it I was like it's this was hilarious it was hilarious. I'm glad that this is still here. <sighs> it's good. Because uh, Colledale Council don't like graffiti on this wall for some reason. I mean, when it's done badly, I get it. But when it's done well, like it is here, why would you want to get rid of it? Are the people at Colledale Council just boring, depressed? Loners, because whenever there's a good piece of artwork up here, they're like, "Ooh, we've got a white, we've got a white wall it all down, so it's a white wall again," and that makes them, that makes it look boring. This looks dead cool, but unfortunately, it's going to happen, isn't it? In about what, whenever, whenever it's going to happen, it's going to happen. So something I found out whilst I was in bed, like literally as I was getting up. Uh, view cinemas, uh, 22 of them, uh, including Halifax, are going to slash their prices to see in films at £5. The only catch is that you can only watch 2D films, and that's fine. You had to pay £15 to see a film. That's a fucking joke, and I'm sorry for swearing, but that's basically saying, fuck you before you even paid so like that's too that's a lot man and that's that's without having paid for drinks con, con, at the con, at stuff at the concession stand what's the point because that was it I was like there's no point going to see a film at the cinema when I might as well just wait for it to come out on DVD 
or wait for it to be on DVD for a while and then buy it then. It was a real off putter. So I was like, basically, if you're saying it's £15 a ticket, I'm like, I'm not coming. I'm not coming. And the other thing is, already there's Harvester, uh, Halifax Pizza, and Chinese Buffet that I've shut down at the Broad Street Plaza. If £15 tickets is, good, was, is what it's going to be, if it was going to be £15 tickets at the View in Halifax, they were going to go as well. Because people are not going to pay that much. Like, only if they really want to see a film. That's a fucking lot, man. But a five or a, say a, a five pound for a film? Much better. Rex Cinema pay somewhere like three or four pounds to see a film. So it was actually better to see a film at the Rex. But I'm thinking now that the view have done this, what will the effect be on the Rex Cinema in Ireland? Will they go bust? No, they won't. They won't. Just with the one. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I nearly fell into the river then. <laughs> Whoops, that's that'd have been bad. Uh it's actually kind of weird not having McDonald's for a meal today. Or tomorrow or it's gonna be the same for tomorrow. Because every time I have a shift, I have that for dinner, or I have that for tea. So yeah, it's, I'm, I'm not complaining. I, re I enjoy having McDonald's food, I really do. But it's weird when you are on a day off and you have something else. Oh, God. This bit's going to be a little tricky because it's just so narrow and it's a bit muddy and I can't really vlog very well on this bit. So I'm going to stop now and vlog later. All right. Whew. I'm a bit out of breath now. So I've walked all the way from the bottom of the valley all the way to the top of Greetland. And on this field, you've seen me feel, walk on there a few times. Oh, nice. There's only a few people on it. There's one, there's two, there's three. Not too bad actually. I'm gonna just walk around actually the field. And then I think I don't know, go back to Westfield maybe? Or even go to Copley. Oh there's that thought as well. I could go to Copley Canal. I'll think of something. I wanna be I wanna at least do a 5k. At least a 5k. Also, I'm gonna add briefly now, uh I've not even done two miles yet. I've only done a mile and seven, 1.7 miles. I feel like I've walked so far, but I genuinely haven't. It's kind of nice to be on. It was kind of nice because this morning I was walking. It's okay, Holly. It's all right. What is he doing? So, to be walking through, like, like near Brooksburg, down into Westvale, around Westvale, and then back home. So it's kind of nice to be in Greetland now, actually. And then if I go through Greetland, walk on the field for a bit, then walk to, I could walk to Copley, yeah, which I just said. <laughs> so, might actually do that. If I aim to be out for one to two hours, I set off at 10 past 2. If we get back home for either 10 past 3 or 10 past 4, then that's fine. And then go back out again at like 7, roughly. For like just half an hour or so, or even an hour. I could do that, I suppose. Either way. Either way. All good. Man, I've been sneezing a lot. So I want to go... So going, oh wait, that way goes to Norland. Uh, let's see, that way goes to Copley, and then that way goes back to like Westvale. I think for a change, because last time I was here, I went to Copley, 
I think I want to go to Copley again. But last time we went to Copley, it was snowing, it was muddy and everything. So I think now that it's a bit better, I might actually go this way again along the canal and then back home. Yeah. Sounds nice as that. That sounds nice. That same cyclist I've just seen, like that went past us ages ago. We just he just got to this point here and he looked and was like, nope, and turned around to go back up the hill. Like what? What? You've just cycled uphill and you're basically going nope to cycle downhill. Well I'm sorry, but if you wanted to go <laughs> if you wanted to go where you wanted to go quite a lot of the places in West Wales around here, you've got to go up and then as with gravity and with what must come up, must, what goes up must come down, it's true like if you're walking up a lot of hills you're gonna chance out, the chance is you're gonna walk down them and honestly, honestly this path isn't even too bad, actually I was thinking it would be really muddy, it's really not. I'll show you. I mean, last time I was here was for when it was my uh, muddy 10k encounters video, which if you have if you haven't seen that yet, then it's all right. It's all right. It's okay. But it was muddy, but you could actually walk down it. It was all fine. And I was I was a little worried. Like now, I was thinking like because it's being icy in some places. Like, will this road be a bit icy as well? But. To be fair, it looks all right. It looks fine. To be fair, looks all right. Yeah. Hopefully it's the same going down that way. But yeah, at the moment it looks quite nice. Yeah. What a nice view. And I was a bit of a dick. Cause I walked up, I walked down there you know that's the way I go and it's actually someone's housing and it says there's a sign down there with danger on it I was like right but why don't we be going down that way look at the view behind me nice coffee bridge in the distance don't know if you can see it but the train just moving I don't know I don't know uh quick Copley Cricket Ground, where I went to see Social Therapy and Infrared all those years ago when I was in sixth form. So 2012, so six years ago. Wow, six years ago. That was uh, a long time ago, six years. So I am 22, so I was 16. Wow, it's crazy, man. Crazy to think about. Like when you see something that f so familiar, and it brings back such good memories. Ah. And then in the distance, we're in our tower. Ah, lovely. Nice. Ah, the memories. That's a pretty cool pan. I've took a picture of it and I'm going to do some editing of it. So, uh, later on, edit it and make it look cool. Yeah. Last time I came down here, it was like, because it had rained quite a lot, it was all like wet and muddy and you could walk down here. Like, that's not, that wasn't a problem. But you got quite muddy, I got quite muddy and etc. And yeah. But now that I'm walking down here, yeah, it's still a little muddy, a little bit. It's not terrible, but it's not actually as bad as it was before when I actually came down here, like, last time. I don't know, I think I was prefer to walk down it than I walk, than walk up it. Because, the thing is, you're not actually getting knackered as such walking down it, unless you've got your two dogs with you. We are pulling you down it so fast, like, like with like the snow tomorrow. But the thing is, when you walk up it, you get tired, 
and then you're, you're like, oh, I want to look at the view, and I'm like, oh, you're so knackered, and then you just, it, and then it's like, not as enjoyable. Well, actually, in some occasions, I think walking up a hill, if there's a nice view, is it's, it's nice. If you're walking up a hill and there's not a nice view, then, yeah, it's, it sucks. I know all that, I know that feeling too well sometimes from where I live. But, no, Jamie, love where you live. I love, no, I love where I live. So, yeah. Right, I'm gonna go over it. What does it say? RKD, whatever it says, established 1831. I need to be careful now with vlogging now because my battery's getting low and ew, lovely. Uh, my battery's getting a bit low and I've only got a limited time of vlogging left. Because I didn't realise how much of the, like literally yesterday and today, I've videoed. I've videoed quite a lot. So, uh, yeah, I need to be careful now. Um, that's a bit frozen. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I just had to quickly stop filming because there was a cyclist coming. Look at it. Chester, get away. Chester, get away. Goodness me! Still out walking. Oh god, my nose. So I've learned like like there's a lot of people who come in, young people, wise like I don't know, 16 to 20 roughly. Well, teenagers I should just say, because 20 is not a teenager, is it? But, like, it makes you think, because they come in quite a lot. Like, during plenty, like, multiple hours, like, and it makes me think, like, like, they come in quite a lot during the hours when you would think they'd be at school, or they'd be at college, like. But they're in McDonald's. Just sat upstairs, just sat upstairs. Like, dossing it off, like, like, <sighs> I mean, I remember when I was that age, like, I started work when I was 16, for Christ's sake. A lot of these 60, a lot of these teenagers might not have a job. Because they're like, oh, fuck it. Because they're probably too unhirable for reasons of them being a teenager. But the thing is, I want to work. I enjoy work. I love it. <laughs> kind of ironic with, with with McDonald's. I'm loving it, but you might, you might think, oh well, he's just making that up for for views and etc. But I'm really not. I really love working at McDonald's. I do, really do. <sighs> and I honestly, like, even if I'm there a month or after after this, even if I'm there for a month or afterwards, I'm not sure. But every day I'm there, I'm loving it. <sighs> I'm loving it. It might seem like we're a long way from home, and true from when you're on, when you're on here, it can feel that way. But that way, where the red brick houses are, right next to it on the right hand side, is the park where I was at this morning. And then that's the apartment complex. Like, literally. So, like, heading this way goes into Ireland. So, like, that way is where I want to go. I mean, like, straight here, like, in distance from here to them houses, it's not far. It's, like, walking distance. But, as you can see, that's in the way. So, uh, it's a pretty big uh, obstacle. So uh, it's not exactly like it's not exactly like you can walk on it. So you've got to go this way, round, then uphill, up into Holland, up Holland, and then you get to that point. I'll probably get to a video. I'll get to a point where I'm up there and I'll video it from the other way. So I'm filming it this way, and then when I'm up there, I'll film looking the other, this way. Do you get what I mean? Video Inception. 
So ignoring all the trees, like I was all the way down there, like where the where the canal is, like just 20 minutes ago, and I'm now at the top. So I didn't exactly go through Welland. I went, we got to the bridge and then turned right as if we were to a fail. I uh, got to the end of the road, then turned left to head back up this road, going up that way, and then walked around that way to come back onto this road. So we've zigzagged literally. And I'm not far off home, and I'm not far off seven miles either of walking. So, uh, yeah, I'm starting to get tired now. Whew. Starting to get a little bit tired. Whew. Nice. And then Westvale, just down there. That's the garden centre, like down there. And the rugby club as well. And then Halifax in the distance. Nice. Bloody nice. It's nice to have a breather. Whew. It just. Okay, so I'm home. Oh, I'm tired. 7.4 miles of walking. <laughs> so. I'm going to charge my phone up, do some video editing and chill <sighs> So I've been Jimmy Hudson, like, comment, subscribe for you here and I'll see you soon with more content Goodbye